Welcome. Today we're going to look at another tool to customize your mobile experience. Showed off uh, that a while ago. There'll be a link up above to that on some of the plugins that I use to really make it really good. But we're going to look at customizable page header buttons today, which is just another one in your arsenal that will make it better for you. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Members get my courses or take a course. What's that? curtismichael.ca slash education to take a course. That's it. Let's look at customizable page header buttons. As always, to start, we'll need to come in. You'd go to your community plugins. We would look for browse, and we would say customizable, customizable page header right there. You install it and enable it. These buttons are already activated for me because I have already done it. And we can go to our options. So this is kind of the main control area of it. Uh, we can choose to show buttons on desktop, which I will do for the purpose of this video. Um, but I will actually normally leave it off because I will not use this on my desktop. Uh, and then we can add a new button. That's really it. So the one I've added that I find very useful is Open Quick Switcher. Let's just, uh, we'll delete it. And we'll add it again. So it's actually, it's not open. That's one thing that I, if you search open, there's so many things. So Quick is the best one. Open Quick Switcher. Hit enter. Works basically the same on mobile as well. Uh, and then we can add button for both mobile uh, and desktop for mobile only uh, or only for desktop. We're going to add it for both right now. And then if we come into the gear, we can choose our icon. So is there actually an open icon, open vault, book open, pop up open, code pen. So I think I went with book, book open. There we go. And what that has given us is, you know, we have to actually refresh. So we'll quit and we'll open up Obsidian again. And we have this book up here. Now, if I click it, I now can get straight to the quick switcher. And then if we switch over to mobile, you can see it's already set up here. Now, it does take a little bit to sync, so I just opened Obsidian, let it sync, quit Obsidian, opened Obsidian, let it sync. But now I can hit the open again, and I can search for anything like my PKM weekly newsletter, which is actually going out basically as I record this. So is that at 8.20 or 8 on my site, 9 o'clock to email. Uh, so you can sign up for that, curtismichael.ca slash pkm-weekly. Uh, and right now it's empty because this is the new template for next week. And that's really it. This is just another way that you can declutter the toolbar at the bottom, have something easily accessible for you, and you can add any other you know quick action, any other action that's in the command palette that you want. Just makes working on mobile so much easier when you have a small space and you you know trying to activate commands. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. And then turn off your notifications because you got better things to do, like hang out with your kids, read books, stuff like that. Uh, you can become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. You can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Or if you're on Skillshare, links below to all my courses on Skillshare. Have an excellent day.